Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your Jamin j main examination this question came on 1st september 2021 so this question came on this year only and this came on second shift okay so let us see this question first question says due to the cold weather one meter water pipe of cross sectional area one centimeter square so this is a pipe which is given to you which is of a length of one meter and having the cross sectional area of this area comes out to be one centimeter square which is nothing but 10 is to 1 minus 4 meter this is already given to you you know so it's filled with ice at so that means this pipe is filled with ice at minus 10 degree centigrade okay so the resistive heating is used to melt the ice that means you have you're providing a resistor in order to melt the ice okay so the current of 0 0.5 ampere passed through 4 kilo ohm resistance so that means you have been given a resistance of 4 kilo ohm which is nothing but 4000 ohm and current in it flows the current in this resistor is 0 0.5 ampere which is flowing through it so this is nothing but half ampere okay this resistor is used to heat up the ice present in the pipe and eventually ice will um, uh, ice will become water so what will be so that means the heating is provided by this resistance assuming that all the heat produced is used to melt so that means there is no loss of heat to the external ambient environment so the, whatever the heat is produced across the resistor it will go to the ice and it will melt it what is the minimum time required so that means what is the minimum time required to melt the or melt whole ice into water and what are what are the other parameter parameter which is given to you the given latent heat of fusion is of water and ice is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power 5 joule per kg and specific heat of ice is also given to you which is 2 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kg and the density of the ice is also given to you which is 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube okay so that means heat produced across the resistor will go to melt the ice so what is the heat produced across the resistor it is equivalent to i square rt don't you think where t is the time taken to melt the ice let t be the time taken to melt the ice r is also given to you resistance and the current is also given to you so this must be equal to heat supplied to the ice to melt it first of all ice is at minus 10 degrees centigrade okay so this ice has uh, has to be provided with heat in order to make sure this go to from minus 10 degree to first of all ice will go from minus 10 degree to 0 degree centigrade then afterwards additional amount of latent heat of fusion has to be provided so so that it will change its state because it will now um, melt from ice towards water okay so that means you have to give two uh, uh, two stage energies at the first stage energy has to be provided in order to make sure it goes from minus 10 degree to 10 degrees and what what are uh, what is that energy it must be equal to ms delta t so this is and this is some energy must be supplied to the ice where uh, where s is the where s, s is a specific heat of ice and delta t is a time del change in temperature delta t is 10 degree centigrade because it has to go from minus 10 to 10 and specific heat of ice is also given to you which is 2 into 10 raised to power 3 what is the mass of this ice because the density of the ice is given to you and area of cross section is also given to you so this mass must be equal to density multiplied by its volume okay so density is 10 days to power 3 and what is what what is its volume volume is length multiplied by area so length is 1 meter multiplied by its area area of cross section is 10 days to power minus 3 so this is the mass which has been provided to you and it comes out to be 1 kg only you know? so Okay, density is 10 to power 3 and density is 10 to and volume is length multiplied by its this 10 to power this is 10 to power minus 4. So it will so the mass is 10 to power minus 1 kg. Okay, because density is uh, mass we already know that if length is given and area is also given the volume you can easily find out the volume from volume you can easily find and the density is also given to you you can easily find out mass so this mass comes out to be 10 raised to power minus 1 so this is the 
energy that must be supplied by this heating equipment in order to melt the ice from minus 10 to 0 degree centigrade. Now, now ice is at 0 degree centigrade now it further has to convert its phase because it will go from solid to liquid. So the latent heat of fusion, uh, la uh, latent heat of uh, you can say fusion of ice and water is also given to you which is 3.36 into 10 is to power 5. So that means the additional amount of energy that has to be provided is latent heat of fusion multiplied by the mass of this ice. Okay, so this much amount of ha heat has to be provided. So it will be provided by this heating equipment. So this expression must be equal to m s delta t plus latent heat of fusion of ice multiplied by its mass. This expression HF is also given to you which is 3 into 10 raised to power 3.3 into 10 to power 5. Mass is given to you, delta T is given to you, latent heat of uh, fusion is also given to you, mass that we have already calculated and current is also given to you, resistance is also given to you. The only thing that you need to find out is time. So solve it, you will get the value of time and after putting all the values, you will get the value of time as 35.3 seconds. So that means second is our correct option. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.